up working full-time for three years, I decided to go back to school to get my master's. All right, well, fuck me. Thanks a lot, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, when I went back to school, I told myself, I'm going to do everything different. I'm going to be more outgoing. I'm going to be more social. I'm going to see a girl naked. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't happened yet. I write, just go right back, sitting in the corner of the room, hoping the teacher doesn't call on me. Actually, uh, actually, I sit in the front of the room. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I sit up front with all the foreign exchange students. But it's like the axis of evil of foreign exchange students. On one side of me, I got Kim Jong-il's son. Not sure if he's from the good Korea or the bad Korea. <laughs> On the other side of me, I got some girl from Iran. She asked me if we had a quiz the other day. I said no. I think I triggered a sleeper cell of terrorists in Cleveland. Cleveland better watch out. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, you know, I'm a bit of an older teacher, and I wish I could yell stuff out in class, because the other day he goes, yeah, I'm a bit of a history buff. Yeah, I'm a bit of a history buff. We can edit that. When I was in second grade, I had all the precedents memorized. Wanted to yell out, well, yeah, it's not that hard. There are only five at the time. <laughs> Would have been funnier if I could have spit it out correctly. And uh, I'm walking to school the other day, and uh, the women's studies program was promoting the vagina monologues. And to do this, they were selling chocolate vaginas with the slogan, Hungry, why wait? Have a chocolate vagina. And this was the first time I'd ever seen one up close. And who knew they were caramely? Some of them had Rice Krispies. I recommend staying away from those.